Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Lit and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I'm looking at today is Radar Towers. A few people have asked, how do you actually build the Radar Towers because they've struggled with them. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into this one over here and I'm just going to find the first tower that I can and I'll just quickly talk you through us actually building one. It's for the new players. Now one thing I do want to know guys, don't forget down below I want you to comment, what's your favourite mission type? Do you know, maybe it's the Atlas Defences, I know loads of people love uh, Deliver the Bomb missions, is it encampments because they're kind of quick? Do you know, what kind of missions are your favorite missions personally mine are the retrieve the data ones and the build the radar grids but you know it depends it's, it's totally down to you but i'd love to know in the comments down below what your favorite mission type is so without further ado let's jump in and i'll show you guys how to build the radar Okay, so when you're on these radar missions, then one thing that you will see is these little blue exclamation marks on the map. They'll tell you where the actual radar towers are. You can usually see them as well. Look, there's one there. So maybe that's the one we're going to do. Now, looking at this, <laughs> I've got transported brick over from my storage. So that could be a bit of an issue. So let's just have a quick look. Now, the first thing you want to do is get the floor tile and have a look what kind of materials it is. So that's in red. Right click. So that's a brick one looks. If we go to metal, it comes up red. That's brick. Now, we're not going to do that on this one because I would need to farm for it and it's kind of going to take us forever to do the video. So why don't we go and find one that's not going to be made out of brick? So let's go and find a different one. Oh, look, there's a tall one over there. Okay, then, guys. So there's a lot of new players in Save the World at the moment. And one thing that you do notice uh, is a lot of comments asking about the radar grid and especially ones with, like, weird stairs and things like that. So if you look on there, what you want to do is get your actual material up, get the floor tile. So if we look at wood and we put it over there, we know that's made out of wood. Now, if it wasn't, say if I select brick, look, the brick goes to red. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it goes to red. If I right click again, then it goes to red. So we know that this one is made out of wood. So all we do is that. Now, I'm going to take this a little bit slower than normal, just because I want you guys to actually see how it's done. Now, each section on here, if you look, it actually tells you the build shapes. If you hit G... You actually get a grid that comes up like this, and it'll show you, look, they're the six squares, and that's what it needs. So if you hit the squares there, okay, not like that, because that would be ridiculous. And then you just put the squares in as it wants. So that one there, look, so we just do this here. I can definitely hear a smasher. Yeah, we can. Okay, let's just, let's just digress a little bit, stop him from charging with the bull rush. And we'll just hit him with the pulverizer a minute. I do love this weapon. This is Detective Cheese gave me this. <laughs> we can also put the little turret thing down as well. Okay, that has hit our shields pretty hard. Oh, just... sorry. Yeah. Okay, we haven't got bull rush up at the minute. Oh, we have now. The pulverizer takes so much energy. So when he charges again, we want to hit bull rush on him. To kind of charge back. So that's not a charge. That's just a run. Oh, sorry. But we should be alright to take this guy with this. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle. Because we're not built for this. Oh, that hurts. Okay, let's use the turret. Oh, oh boy. Let's go. He's going to charge his luck. So we're going to charge back at him. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> alright, I'm going to let my turret do it. I'm going to watch him die. There you go. Go down. Okay, let's just pick up his uh, his loot guts or whatever you want to call it. So there we were. So all you have to do is go around and actually just do it like this. So you just build to the shapes that are actually on the wall. So if you look there, there you go. So this is the first part. Now, this is a bit a lot of people struggle with, which is the stairs. Now, if you make stairs like this, they're not going to fit in there. Look, it goes red. So what you need to do is press whatever your edit button is. I'm not sure what it is on console. It's G on mine. And just kind of follow, send your mouse around the shape like so. And that'll make these type of stairs as well. So I'll just do that again just to show you. So get the grid on the floor, look, the blue grid, and just send your mouse around and just highlight the blue squares. You have to go in the right direction and then just hit your confirm button and then you can build the stairs like so. If you're new to this, what you're best doing, and I'll do it on this one. It's not normally how I would do it, but build up in layers. So try and do all of one layer first, as you know, and then do another layer like afterwards. And it'll just make it, you know, a lot, lot easier just to make sure you don't miss bits and things like that. I us you usually miss something. If I mean, I do pretty much on every one. But, you know, just make sure that you try not to miss any. Well, that wall up there. That's a solid wall there. And then this one's another one like we saw before. But this one looks like that. And just make sure you've got all the areas covered. Now, this is one of them complicated stair things I showed you again. 
but that should be already built. So I think we're about where we are. Don't miss these bits on the edges as well. These bits on the outside that you don't want to be missing. So let's just get our wall up again. There we go. Just put that out there. And we kind of want to make sure that we're getting this section on the outside here. There we go, look. So we've got that up there as well. Then we'll get the next bit of wall. Like I said, when you're first doing these, it'll, it can take you a while, you know, you, while you learn to do it. I'm trying to do this super slow so that you guys can actually just see how it's done. Yep. There you go, look. So we're doing the wall piece there. Doing the wall piece there. And just look around, make sure you've not missed any bits and things like that. That's above us, so that's okay. So this section looks like it's done. Now the floor tiles, do you know, if you're not sure, if you need to get these two bits, what you do, if you do that there, close those down, it'll put this little lip up for you. So that'll be on there already. So don't worry too much about that. Um, if you're like me, sometimes I reset most of the uh, the tiles before I go up to the next level. But that's totally down again. That's just a speed thing, you know, just to speed things up. Like the stairs now we can leave because we know that's how they want to do. And look, see this here? So we know now that that needs to be done. So what we can do is, if you need to, just jump up on the edge a little bit here. There you go. And then you can just get the wall tile up, which we've got. Hit G so we know where it is. Oh, and look, we've missed a bit down there. There you go. So we can fill that up there. And there we go. So we can move up to the next section now. Nice and simple. Do the same with the floor tile, remember? So hit the two. And that'll put the lip up for you there. Then we want the wall tile. After that. You know, you might want to reset it before you do it. You can always just do that. And that'll give you that one. We're probably going to get some kind of husks coming after us. <laughs> In the meantime, I can see them all down there. So there you go. Guys, if you didn't catch my video earlier today as well, don't forget we are giving away uh, a tiger. Which could be yours. Okay, now if we look here, look, that's just one stair tile. So this is another tricky one. So what you want to do is get your stair tile again. Hit G and just hit forwards up there. And it'll show you exactly what you need. All right, this is why we have the shotgun on. We'll just knock them back, the ones that come up the stairs. Should be all right there, I think. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's carry on. So these bits that are ones then, all that needs is a corner slot. You can see that on there. So that's just one little corner slot like so. This, again, is two. And don't forget, it'll put that little lip on there for you already. So you don't have to worry about that so much. This one is the floor. And then these are just nice and easy wall tiles. Now, you might, you know, I may have missed something here, but all you do is just go back around again. And I'll show you how you can check that in a moment. And then we just want to put the wall tiles around there like so. And if you've done it successfully, do you know, when you go to this thing at the top here, it'll come up. Now, that means we've probably missed something. So if we just go down, I think I can see it. We just build up in sections. Nice and simple. And then just go around the outside. And look, you can see there we've missed something there. Okay. Now, anything that ends up being attached to this is going to actually damage. It's going to actually mean that it doesn't count. So you can't have anything attached to the base like this, for example. That will mean that your, you know, the actual tile doesn't count. So what you need to do is hold that out there. There we go. So we'll put that one on there. And then this one, we know the shape we need to make. So what we're going to do is like this. I think it's an L shape, is it? Yeah, it is. And just jump up. Should be able to just jump and put that in. There we go. Done. Now, because we don't want this to be part of the radar tower, just detach it like so. Simples, really. And then that's it. So that should. Let me double check so we don't go up again and we're unfinished. There we go. And then that should be it done. So everything's detached from it. We go up. There's no point upgrading the mats on here, by the way. And then if you look, this will come up now with activate. We just hold down E. Wait, and that's it. And you can deposit blue glow in that to get like extras and to get extra goodies and things like that. So it's pretty straightforward, really. So in the grand scheme of things on how to put a tower up, this is pretty much it. Now, it will let you upgrade the pieces if you want, but there really is absolutely no point whatsoever. So you're better off just doing that. And then that's the whole radar tower. And if you want to see how that looks, you know, from an outside angle, let's just build some, uh, let's just build some stairs up so you guys can actually see how it looks. There you go. Look, it looks quite. It look, they all look pretty impressive when they're done. You know, let's go further up. Let's just go a look up here so you guys can get a good view of the actual radar tower. This is where, if I'm on with friends, they'd usually just kill the bottom step now. <laughs> 
So if you look, look, that's how the radar tower looks, minus the little ramp thing that we've got there. They always look impressive. The builds get more and more complicated, uh, you know, the more that you go up. So the further up the missions you get, the more complicated. So if you are a new player, the bases aren't going to be as complicated as what you've just seen there. You know, they're not going to be as tricky as that. They may only be one story high. If you look over there, what I saw, there's one over there. That's only a small one. It's quite tricky, I guess, in the middle. Uh, look, that's a small one over there. That's a dead easy one. But it's totally down to you, do you know, what type of, uh, which ones you want to go for, like, on there. It doesn't really make a, it doesn't really make a difference. On this one, all you've got to do is build three radar towers. Now, you can build these super fast, so it doesn't take long at all. But, you know, the only tip I would give you is when you come into these missions, make sure you bring the materials in. I've only done this as a, as a guide video, so I've not brought enough brick in for this mission. But normally, if I was doing a radar mission and I wouldn't come in with, the, you know, with so few bricks, you'd come in with absolute, you know, you'd come in with quite a lot. But guys, if that's been helpful, please make sure you comment down below and let me know. I'm trying to, a lot I've said to you before, I'm trying to do some beginner guides uh, just so that you guys can, you know, for you new players that are coming on. So you've got something to check out. And I think radar towers are definitely one that some people do find tricky. So this should help you with how to build radar towers and in particular the stairs. So just to quickly recap on the stairs again. So what you, you can always rotate the parts as well by pressing R if I've not said that already. But if you are struggling like with the stairs, all you really do is go to the edit button and there's some t stair types you can build. So there's this one here. So make like a, a U shape when it builds like this. One second. Spooky. One second while we just get rid of the company. The bear's great for these because it just does so much knockback that they can't shoot you. Yep. Dying. There we go, we gotta steal it down. Okay, as I was saying. <laughs> so the stair types then, so just make like a U shape like so. There you go, and that makes you that stair type. Also good for when you're doing, um, you know, tower missions, you know, if you've got a towering game as well. They're always gonna help with that. The other stair type obviously is the normal stair type that you've got. And if you want a singular stair type, press G again and just go at one side and that will give you this stair type as well. So they're like the main three stair types you've got. So that's the one you probably know already. That's the one where you just build up one side and if you make a letter U, so the letter U will make this shape as well. And the good thing about the letter U shape as well, they actually stack, you know, really nicely on top of one another. So if you need to build up fast, you can kind of make like a spiral staircase like this look. And it's just really good as well. It's good for some defences, you know, depending what type of defences that you're actually building. It can be actually pretty useful as well. It's good for getting down, you know, places quick if you want to get down fast and things like that. So hopefully, guys, that has helped. So again, I know I said this about a thousand times in the video, but don't forget, as I said, to drop a comment down below. It does make a huge difference. If you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Expressing myself through dance.